All right, guys, went back today with another high value and budget red dot for a handgun, and this is the Burris Fast Fire 3. By no means is it a brand new red dot, but what I actually did was reach out to Optics Planet to find optics that would fit the Palmetto State Armory Dagger Doctor Cut. I get that question time and time again on the channel, and a lot of the Doctor Cut optics can be a little bit confusing because there's rounded back versions and flat back versions of different optics, very similar to the Vortex Venom and Viper Cuts. But the Doctor Cut is the rounded one, and I've noticed a lot of people claiming their optics are Doctor Cuts or saying somewhere on the listing that it's a Doctor Cut, not actually fitting the Palmetto State Armory Dagger. So I got two from Optics Planet. One was from Athlon and one was from Burris, and the Athlon one did not fit, and the Burris one did. So that's why I'm specifically doing this video first. And it's actually in conjunction with the fact that Optics Planet has this particular model on sale in a few different versions. Now, these generally sell for right at $300, so not the cheapest optic in the world. But why I'm calling this one a budget one is because they're as low as $166 on Optics Planet's website right now on sale for the 3MOA version. And is a smoking deal and incredibly affordable compared to some other optics out there. So if you already have a Palmetto State Armory Dagger and you were looking for a Dr. Cut optic that worked, definitely check out the Burris Fast Fire 3. We're going to talk about all the specs and features and how it performed down at the range. So we've got the 8 MOA version, and that is on sale for $229, and the 3 MOA version is on sale for $166. I do have the 8 MOA version. I'm fine with either of the versions. I believe I selected the 8 MOA at the time because it was a little bit cheaper, but in fact, the prices have flip-flopped, and now the 3 MOA is cheaper. I also have a code 704TAC for 5% off your Optics Planet order. Good for any of these red dots, so definitely check it out. In a nutshell, this is a micro style optic, and it's got a lot of nice features, and it's got a really good warranty. I've always had luck with Burris products, so you can read those uh, specs and features and pause it if you want. So this is got three manual brightness settings, and then it also has some auto adjust capabilities, but I like using the manual brightness settings. Right off the bat though, this does not have the auto on and auto off technology that I like to see in a personal defense handgun, but what it does have is a constant on for eight hours, then it automatically turns off. So if you were using this as a carry gun or a nightstand gun, or even a duty carry gun, you would be able to turn this on and know that it would be on for eight hours, then automatically turn on. So I know a lot of guys that are using the Burris Fast Fire when they wake up in the morning and throw it in their holster, they click that button and know it's gonna be on for eight hours, and then they swap it out when they get home. Um, so that is something to consider on this. I really wish this would be an auto on and auto off technology, but overall it does really good with that eight hour auto on and auto off. So when you click the optic on, it turns on, and what you're gonna see is a slight strobe effect to this one um, on camera, but in real life it doesn't do that. So it'll click on to a setting, then it'll actually go to the brighter setting, then it'll go back to the mid setting, back to the dim setting, and then off. So you click it on, it's the mid setting, bright setting, 
mid setting and then off, or dim setting and then off again. So the bright setting is insanely bright. It works out incredibly well, especially in the daytime. And in fact, actually the camera's picking the dot up really well right now. Outside when I was shooting, the camera wasn't picking up the dot good, so I skipped that shot, but I'm glad it's picking it up now so you can see it's a really crisp dot. It gets insanely bright, even on the brightest sunny days. I was shooting this, there was no issues picking up the dot. And then that mid setting is perfect for inside the home, I found. And then at nighttime, the dim setting works really well. And then again, you can turn it off. It also has kind of a leader line, so not necessarily sights cut in the back, but a leader line to where you could kind of line everything up with the front sight. Now, this is one of the Palmetto State Armory doctor cut slides for the dagger and the dagger is a glock 19 clone that's been working incredibly well in fact i've done a torture test on the palmetto st armory daggers where we dropped it in mud threw it on the ground and it worked out flawlessly I also have a thousand round review on the dagger and they've had no issues whatsoever one of my favorite nine millimeter handguns and one of my favorite optics ready and suppressor ready handguns it's for all of these reasons I'm really digging in and finding out what optics fit the Dagger series. Now they have an RMR cut and that fits all of the hollow suns. It fits a lot of the RMR pattern ones and the Swamp Fox, op the Swamp Fox optics. And again, a lot of those are available at Optics Planet's website as well. And you can use the code 704TAC to save you 5% off. But the Dr. Cut ones you can find at affordable prices. In fact, some of the Dr. Cut slides I'm looking at now are actually as low as $129. Uh, and you will need to add a barrel and guide rod assembly, but those are pretty affordable. And then they have complete ones with doctor cuts at affordable prices as well. So you can really get yourself some incredibly nice deals on PSA, and they're actually in stock right now. I know at first, Palmetto State Armory didn't have a ton of stock of the dagger, but now there are at least 100 different options that you can go on their website, everything from complete handguns, complete slides with the uh, iron sights and barrel included, some minus the barrel and guide rod assembly, but you'll want to check out my campsite page. My campsite page is an aggregate site of all the best deals I find on the internet, including some of the best deals on the dagger slides, so definitely check it out. You can actually buy the dagger frames complete with the trigger group and everything. All you need to do is drop on that slide for $99, and they also just released the FDE frame. Um, so definitely check out that campsite page because this video was specifically about the dagger and finding optics for it, and the Burris Fast Fire 3 definitely did that. Now down at the range, it absolutely held zero, no issues whatsoever. I also want to give a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for donating the 9mm ammo to help make this video. I actually purchased this slide with my own money from PSA, just again, try different optics on them, try different things. I really stand behind this. A lot of guys think I get everything for free on the channel. I've bought about 80 to 90 percent of all of my dagger components myself and I'm probably up to five complete daggers at this point because I love them so much and I feel like this is an every man's working gun. You can grab the entire gun complete uh, with those optics cut and iron sights for like 350 you can get the base models for like 300 without the optics cut so i just stand behind it and i wanted to find a good optic for it and the burris fast fire 3 especially on sale on optics planet's website is going to be a great option about my only complaint is i really wish it had the auto on and auto off technology but the eight hour shut off um, can extend that battery life out to five years and i think this is an absolutely great option that you won't want to pass up especially on sale right now and stack my code you can really get it at an affordable price and complete out your PSA dagger. All the information, linking, and codes, if I can, will be in the description below, especially my campsite page. You'll definitely want to check that out. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.